Zahvalila Petru za prihodno, da lahko govorim danes. Malce o tem, kje sem trenutno. Kot ste slišali, z možem vodi v podjetje. In izpolujem dve vlogi. One is a support role to him. Ena je odporna vloga njemu. On the home front. In na domači fronti. Church front. Crkveni. And business front. In tudi na potem podjetniški. And the other role is I manage both the business's finances. In druga vloga je, da skrbim za finance v podjetju and various day-to-day operations. In vsakodnevnih opravilih. Today I really want to share with you a little bit about my background. In danes želim malo se govoriti o mojem ozadju. And my testimony of how I got to where I am today. In o mojem pričevanju, kako sem prišla do te točke, kjer sem danes. I never finished school. Nikoli nisem zaključila šole. I left school in grade 11. V enajstem razredu sem postila šolo. This was for various reasons. Iz pač različnih razlogov. Troubled upbringing. Težave v odraščanju. Single mom. Bila sem mati samohranilka. Lack of finances. Pomankanje denarja. I tried to do homeschooling. In poskušala sem za šolo na domu. But I wasn't very self-disciplined at the time. Ampak takrat nisem bila preveč samo disciplinirana. And there was also a very large lack of support at home to accomplish this. Tudi doma nisem imela veliko podpore, da bi zaključila s tem. God had a plan though. Ampak Bog je imel načrt. One of my friend's moms called me up. Mati moje prijateljice me je poklicala. And said we have got a temporary position as a receptionist. In je rekla, imamo mesto, delovno mesto zate na recepciji. For three months. Za tri mesece. At her company Imperial Toyota. V firmi Imperial Toyota. Imperial in South Africa. In ta firma v Južni Afriki. Is a large motor corporation. Je velika avtomobilska industrija. They sold all the different makes and models of vehicles. In prodajajo in delajo različne vrste posameznih delov za avtomobile. And this was the Toyota brand within the group. In to v tej celotni skupini oni so bili specifizirani prav na Toyota. I started the position and within six months was promoted. Sprejela sem delovno mesto in čez šest mesecov sem bila promovirana. To a sales assistant to two of the top sales people in the company. Da sem bila asistentka prodaje dve izmed najboljših prodajnih vseb, ki so se s tem ukvarjali. Six months from that, in šest mesecov kasneje, I was promoted once again into sales myself. So me promovirali na to prodajno mesto, kjer sem ga sama predlavljala. Primarily working with corporations. In primarno smo delali z večjimi korporacijami. Selling to companies, not individuals. In smo prodajali različnim podjetjem, ne posameznikom. I grew up in a Christian home. Odraščala sem v krščanskem domu. I knew the Lord. Poznala sem Boga. From the age of 10. Od desetih let. I served in the church and was involved in worship, youth and prayer meetings. Naprej sem služila v crkvi, na mladinskih srečenih, molitvenih srečenih, slovilni skupini. But at this stage in my life I veered a little bit away from the church. Ampak v tej fazi svojega življenja sem se malce udelila v crkve. I still had my relationship with God. Še vedno sem imela odnos z Bogom and spoke to him regularly. In sem se redno z njim pogovarjala. But I was young. Ampak bila sem mlada. I was full of myself. Polna same sebe. And arrogant. In arrogantna. 
my quick success and quick uh, promotion within the company added to this arrogance. I thought I was above others. Cultivated team. I also looked for opportunities in this success to give back to the kingdom. I was so grateful to God for highlighting this problem and for continuing to bless my success through the valley and the up. I wanted to give back 10% of 100% that belongs to him. Soon things changed. My successes were celebrated by the whole company. The files made it to the top of the pile. My stock was found first. And my sales increased. On Credibility was restored. I had 15 wonderful years in the motor industry. 15? I enjoyed God's favor and provision in abundance. I had the privilege of working on massive deals. I had the privilege of working on massive deals. I don't know the conversion, 100 to 300 million rand facilities. 100 to 300 million rand facilities. There's things that challenged me and grew me. And I'm blessed to the Lord who made me and who was able to grow me. I had the privilege of breaking records and winning awards. And I had the privilege of breaking records and winning awards. And I had the privilege of breaking records. I also had the privilege of studying through my company. And completing my education. Through all of this, I remember to stay humble. And to give glory to God. To praise him so much in the good times. Da ga lahko v dobrih časih močno slavim. And press into him and lean into him in the lower times. In se mu podrodim in grem za njim tudi v težkih časih. In 2014, God started stirring something different in my heart. In leta 2014 je Bog začel v mojem srcu nekaj novega vzbojati. We had joined the Crossing Church in 2008. Uh, we were part of the deacon team since 2012. And I just started feeling a bit of a change and a bit of a stronger call towards God's kingdom. My old mind was focused on being a career woman, building, growing, promotion after promotion, to eventually become one of the directors, because I knew that was possible because I, I worked hard enough and people recognized it in me. Ker sem vedela, da je to mogoče in ljudje so prepoznali tudi tak lic v meni. So if you had to ask me, would I have ever changed that? 
Torej, če bi me nekdo vprašal, če bi kdajkoli to zamenjala, I would have said no ways, bi rekla ni govora. I didn't want to be at home more. Sorry. I didn't want to be at home more. Nisem si želela biti doma. Več, I didn't want to uh, work for my husband. In nisem si želela delati za mojega moža. I was strong and built myself up. Bila sem zelo močna in samo sebe sem izgradila gor. And with God worked hard at getting my career to where it was. In z Bogom sem vedla, da lahko uh, grem naprej v, uh, z, 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 to določeno karjero. But things were changing. Ampak <laughs> stvari so se spremenjale. God changed my work environment. In Bog je spremenil moje delovno okolje. To a place that I loved going to. Uh, na mesto, kamor sem sicer rada prihajala. I was honestly one of those people that loved going to work. Jaz sem bila iskreno ene zmed teh poseb, ki radi hodijo v službo. I loved my job. Všeč mi je bilo moje delo. I loved meeting new people. Rada sem se srečevala z novi ljudi. Loved building new relationships. Rada sem gradila nove odnose. And I loved closing a deal. In rada sem sklepala pogodbe. <laughs> But myself and my boss at the time, a new boss, Ampak jaz in moj novi šef v tistem času, started not getting along. Nekako se ni sva več dobro jemala. I'm not afraid of conflict. Jaz se ne bojem konflikta. I can handle it. <laughs> Lahko se sočim. <laughs> But when your boss starts having meetings behind your back, Ampak ko ima tvoj šef se stanke za tvojim hrbtom, and start strategizing with your staff in začne delati strategije za tvojim timom on how they're going to work you out the company kako te bojo nekako izrignili ven iz firme you've got to stop and say lord is that you potem se moraš zaustaviti in prašati gospod da si to ti for such a drastic change from the 15 years to bila taka drastična spremenba iz iz pred 15 let of joy to absolute misery yeah. od radosti do apsolutnega obupa i was pregnant six months in six meses to sem bila noseča with our son uh, yeah, pričakovala sva sina we have two children mama dva otroka my boy is four a uh, fantima uh, my leta. girl is 10 and dekvica 10 and when all of this was going on in ko se vse to dogajalo i was pregnant sem bila noseča miserable obupana tired utrujena and not hearing god in nisem slišala boga so my husband and i prayed to razmožem sva molila it was a difficult time <laughs> to bil zelo težek čas but i made it to uh, eight months ampak uspelo me priti do osmega meseca nosečnosti and went on maternity leave in the december in uh, december ne bi šla na porodniško uh, my son was born in uh, january 7 in sin se rodil 7. januarja and i heard as clear as daylight in to ko jasno kot je beli dan sem slišala resign dai od pavet you must remember i was earning almost three times what Hilton was earning at the time what it is is funny the same as the slujila trikrat več kot mož v tistem času <laughs> this was not an easy <laughs> task for me to ni bila lahka naloga it would take huge faith to bi zahtevalo kar precej vere <laughs> we had debt Mela sva dolgove, two children, dva otroka, lots of costs to cover, veliko stroškov, and God's asking me to cut my salary into a fourth. In Bog me zaprosi, da znižem svoja plač na četrtino od tega, kar je bilo. But I heard him, ampak slišala sem ga, and I was convinced of the call to the kingdom. In bila sem prepričena, da sem poklicana v Božje kraljestvo. I wanted kingdom flexibility. Želela sem se imeti to fleksibilnost v Božjem kraljestvu. I wanted to be able to serve more. Želela sem se več služiti. I wanted to be able to go and pray with people. Želela sem se moliti z ljudmi več. 
I wanted to uh, lead the worship ministry that I lead in our church. Želela sem si voditi uh, to službo slavljenja, katero sem imela v crkvi. With excellence and more time. Z odličnostjo in želela sem imeti več časa za to. So I resigned. Zato sem dal odpoved. I started with, um, consulting for my brother-in-law. In začela sem z uh, svetovalno službo mojemu um, sva svaku. And for um, our company. In za našo firmo. Uh, we didn't have the money in our company at that time to pay me a salary. In takrat v firmi nismo imeli denare, da bi plačali, da bi mi plačali, da bi dobila, da bi dobila plačo. But God made a way. Ampak Bog je poskrbel. I took a huge reduction. A ne, naredi, kar v bistvu je prišlo do velikega zmanjšanja. But when I left my company, ampak ko sem zapustila firmo, I got a payout so me isplačali enough to pay off all our debt in dobila sem dovolj da sva lahko odplačala vse naše dolgove so there was less cost to cover every month torej s tem je bilo uh, manj stroškov me mesečnih stroškov 3 months after this move in 3 mesece po tej spremembi our company went through a very difficult time. Je šla tudi naša firma čez zelo težke čase. More faith required. In zahteva me bilo še več vere. I decided to join Hilton full time. In odločila sem se, da se uh, res polnočasno pridružim Hiltonu. Because my strength was new business development. Ker moja uh, močna sem bila v tem v postavljanju novih stvari in razvijanju novih stvari. And our business needed to grow and get more clients. In naše podjetje je moralo rasti in je moralo pridobiti nove stranke. As Hilton mentioned, in kot je Hilton že preomenil, I hardly had to do anything. Skoraj, da mi ni bilo treba veliko delati. God blessed us with the client every single month for 10 months. Ker nas je Bog deset mesecev blagoslavil vsak mesec z novo stranko. I made one phone call. Jaz sem samo en telefonski klic naredila. The rest were all people referring us. In vse ostalo so nas ljudje priporočali. God did the work. Amen. Bog je pravilo delo. We had to have faith. In midva so morala imeti le vero. He has been faithful ever since. In vse takrat naprej je izvest. As you to mentioned, our company allows us to travel for the kingdom now. Kot je Hilton omenil, ne, naša firma nam zdaj omogoča, da lahko potujeva in služiva v Božem kraljestvu. Our company allows us to uh, take time off during the day. Naša firma nam omogoča, da si lahko tekom dneva vzame na čas. To attend meetings or to serve people. Da gremo na crkvena srečanja ali pa da služimo ljudem. Advancing the kingdom. In da širimo napredek Božjega kraljestva. He really does cover you when you put his kingdom first. On te res ščit in pokriva, kater daš njegovo kraljestvo na prvo mesto. We went through seasons of mountaintop glory. Šla sva skozi obdobja vrhuncev slave na vrhu gora. And valleys of changes and stretching. In doline spremembi, ko te Bog rastrguje. I've learned the following things. In naučila sem se sledeče stvari. Remain on your knees, both on the mountains and in the valleys. Vedno stani na koljenih, takrat, ko si na gori, ali takrat, ko si v dolini. Remain humble. Ostani ponižen. God blesses humility and humbles the pride and the arrogance. Bog blagoslavlja ponižne, in poniža ponosne. Trust me, I learned this first hand. <laughs> to sem se naučil iz prve roke. Follow the, follow the blueprint God so kindly gave us in His Son. In sledite na črtu, ki nam ga je Bog tako dobrohotno dal v svojem sinu. A Christ-like character mm -hmm. is something both clients and colleagues can and will buy into. Uh, dober značaj je nekaj, na kar lahko stavijo tako prijatelji kot stranke. It creates trust, to ustvarja zaupanje, reliability, uh, zanesljivost and safety, in varnost. Amen. When you live it and not just speak it. Ko to živiš, ne samo da govoriš o tem. 
Thanks for your time. Amen. For all those of us, cheers.